good morning all it's test and review day for the Stalga XM1 uh, I'm going to th put it through its paces on the range now I'm not expecting anything amazing out of this I'm going to be honest because it's not set up for me it's set up for me missus as I say like it's uh, it's uh, gone I would have got out to sat under the review today but sadly she's away and why she's away that means I've got the house to myself and I can take the shooting table right the way back further down the house because I can't interfere with anybody and I can't do nobody any damage so usually I wouldn't be able to do it like this but it's ideal today that she's not around and obviously I can do this it means that we've got a good 20 meter shooting uh, area today um, I'm going to start off with a simple first test the bottle tops and then we'll progress from there into the spinners do a bit of target shooting uh, and I'll, we'll try and reset the um, the gallery and then later on I'll put it through the chronograph um, just to see exactly what it is putting out uh, I'm hoping there's plenty of enough um, air in it to do this review um, but as I say how it's going to go I have no idea because it's set up for somebody completely different than myself so I've got it attached to the Norma Golden Trophy uh, Field troll pellets. Uh, I was told these go quite well with those pellets. Now it's a pellet that went in test, didn't come out very well in our other breaker guns, but um, I've told anything with a long skirt on the pellet works very well in these. So I've took their word for it and, uh, and gone for it. So we'll see how it goes. Also, if you will, try and take notice, it's quite a quiet gun. This it comes with a built in moderator. It's not, uh, you can't take it off, it's actually built into the gun, but it does actually work. Anyway, let's get on with the review. Okay, first things first, it's the um, three bottle tops on the right hand side we're trying to take out. Let's have a see how it gets on. It's a blue one it is at the top there, so... Yeah, let's put a hole in that, so that's a good one in the blue. And the next one down is a blue one as well, see so that it can take that one out. Yeah, passes the bottle top test with no problem. Next test for the XM1 is our spinners. Let's see, here we go, top one first, the bigger one, and work our way down. First one's good. Second one's good. This is where it gets a little bit tighter now. These are. Uh... Oh, still that one out nice. Can you take the little one for the full set? Yeah, no problem there. Did really well. On the old spinners. Task. Three, and I may have to change the magazines over going through this because uh, I'll be getting towards the end now. It's our gallery. Ah, oh, there you go, look. So, new magazine in before we start this one. Right, left to right on the bottom. Yeah, passes that one okay. Another good round for the XM1. Our fourth test is target shooting. Can it group a bunch of five pellets at this distance into our small targets? I think they're uh, 30 millimeter targets they are. I'm gonna go for the center one. Let's see if we can group five in that. Again, 
it's the problem with these having such a short magazine they do run out quite quick they're only this is the 2-2 version obviously I only have 2-2's two uh, it's an 8 shot magazine Well, I think out of those five shots, if you was looking for quarry that was 20 metres away, probably plus, you wouldn't be disappointed with that, would you? You'd have hit your target. So, yeah, I think that's done quite well on the target shooting. Um, I'm going to put it through the chronograph and we'll decide, decide then whether we're going to put it through any more testing today. I think the next thing that we need to find out, though, is what it's like over the chronograph, see what it's pushing out. So we'll get that done next. One sixty-five point five, and amazingly, we run out of pellets right at that time. So do apologise about this. We've had equipment failure. We've run out of shots. It's not been good, has it? But. Uh, We'll get there in the end, all in the interests of uh, of actually finding out what this gun can do. 165 for its first shot, which wasn't bad. I think that's quite a good reading to be fair. You actually want to be around the 170 mark, but um, I'm hoping that there's still plenty of air in this gun. Um, Wasted quite a few shots with this uh, this crown I'm messing around, but we've got one reading so far. Let's see if we can get a few more. One sixty-six. One sixty-three. One fifty-nine. That didn't read. And 157. So 166 I think was the best. I'll just check that now. If I can just get it to run back for us. 165, 166, 163. Yeah. 166 was our best. So uh, we'll take a reading off that. Okay then, well after that uh, I put that through the calculator, the, uh, the normal pellets are 15.9 grain, the velocity worked out when changed from metres to feet per second to 545.6 feet per second, the energy that's releasing from the gun there is 11.37 foot pounds which is not bad and that's 15.42 joules so the gun is actually performing quite well. Um, it has had a barrel clean. I will honestly say when I clean this it has to have the worst amount of grease inside the barrel I have ever witnessed. It. Um, I must have had to put eight or nine uh, cleaning cloths through it uh, to get somewhere near and then obviously a couple of dry ones so let's say ten, ten times I had to do it really to get it anywhere near but I got it in the end and it's performing quite well now. Now, I am running low on air today in the gun, and I think it would be unfair to test it any further. But what I will do is on the channel is, now as soon as um, my partner uses it more and gets used to the gun, I will update what we've found with the gun. At the moment, I've got to be honest, um, you're talking right at the lower end of the scale. You can get this gun, as I say, between 200 to an half hundred pounds, uh, sorry, um, £250 all the way up to maybe £3,500 depending where you shop. There's different uh, different kits with it. You can have it with bags, with just the muzzle. But inside the box there comes a whole lot of stuff with this gun. As I say, you've got the the hand grip there. You can change that. You can change the cheek piece to set up to your own personal preference. And I think that's a great idea. I think I wish they'd do that with more guns. 
Another thing is usually when you buy a PCP you will have to buy a moderator and everyone comes with one. This one comes with a moderator built in and it works quite well as you've probably heard today. It's not a loud gun at all by any stretch of the imagination. It's done really well. This was bought really for my, my wife to get into the sport and um, I'm looking forward to seeing her using it to be honest with you. Um, it's a bit of a shame, the only thing I've found is with it, you don't get a lot of shots and being as you don't get a lot of shots to a tank fill, it may become a bit annoying at some point, but being as she's not like her, like myself and uses the guns quite a lot, I think it'll be okay for her. It's, it's for somebody really who's going to be using a gun show so on, on an occasional basis, not more, as I would say, like uh, for any kind of uh, pest control or working or anything like that, you know, with a gun because you'll be sick of pumping it up if you're out in the field or filling it up from your tank, whichever your preferred way of filling is. But um, it's gone through our test today, it's done everything really, really well. Uh, it's performed well across the chronograph. Um, you can't fault the gun in any way for the money that you pay for these. They're absolutely brilliant to be fair. The cocking mechanism, uh, it's not silky smooth, but it's not rough either, you know what I mean? It's not something that you turn around and say, well, that's annoying. You know, it's culpable with it. You lift up, pull back, and then slide it back in and drops. It's it's okay. I mean, you probably seen when I was uh, cocking the gun to do the shooting. It, uh, it it's not silky smooth, but it's okay. Like it's not too rough. Um, I've put a three b nine b forty scout with it for now. I will would change it if we did decide to start going out and doing a fair bit of shooting, me and the wife. But um, at the moment, I've left it with that because. Uh, Obviously I'll be 20, 30, maybe 40 metres, it's the ideal scalp for that really, anything more than that obviously you will need a, a bigger scalp I would have said. But um, it's great and what I like about the gun to be fair is the options you've got with it. I mean like the butt pad here you can take this all apart and you can change it to your personal preference as I say. You've got this here, the shoulder, shoulder pad, you can change that to your own personal preference. The hand grip, that can be changed to your personal preference. You'll see that on the gun probably earlier on there's two screw holes there just in the side of the main stock at the end there. You can fit on their bipods either side if you want to. I mean they're all inside the box, everything comes. It's not something that you have to buy, it comes with it. So it's, uh, you know, it's got a fantastic arrangement of choices for the money that you pay for them. And I think they're absolutely a bargain to be fair for what they are on these guns. And as I say, if you want to do a bit of target shooting or pesting, you're not going to miss much. They're pretty accurate as well, you know, they're, they're great. I mean, as I say, because these are PCPs, I decided today to do these over the extra length and I've stretched it right back to the front of the house. So if I go out any further, I'm going to be sat in my drive, which will obviously alarm the neighbours that I'm shooting off my driveway. But um, I can't fault it in any way at all. I mean, you can tell how new this gun is, the ticket's still on it. I mean, I. I it's not my gun to take to pieces and take the labels off and bits and pieces like that. It's all down to my missus's gun. I mean, I'm, I'm using it to do a review on it today, but um, that's about the only time I'll ever use this gun. It's, it's air gun, as I say. But uh, I think she'll love it. I think uh, anybody who's new to the sport, uh, especially PCPs, because I'm new myself. I mean, I've just picked up a PCP myself. I've just had the crowl. MPO2 puncher which uh, to be quite honest with you for the amount of times I've shot it I know a little about it but it seems okay but this quite, you know it's good it's a match for it at least I tell you it, it, it's just as good on target as my gun so I mean I paid probably an extra hundred pound on top for my gun but uh, as I say the only difference is I've got a huge air tank on one, whereas this has got a short tank with probably about 60, 60 odd shots in and then it's out. So, as I say, I don't know whether that'll become an annoyance, but um, it's pretty fit, our, our dolly says, all right, with a pump, they'll, they'll sort that out, no problem. It's no use of looking at me to pump it up with my back, I couldn't do it, so. But I've bought her a pump to go with it. I mean, I'll be all right with mine, I should get mine filled up every now and again whenever I need, I think there's over 300 shots that's a good day shooting anywhere you go so I'll be alright with mine but this as I say for what it is and what you can do with it absolute bargain and I know what you're thinking would you recommend one? yeah I would I would I really would I think um, 
I think it's a lot of gun for the money, I really do. I mean, don't forget, like, nowadays you can pay that for a, a decent brake barrel, 260 odd quid. Uh, you know, it's, it's quite easily done. Uh, and for this being a PCP, uh, don't forget, Stoga, backed by Beretta, of course, one of Beretta's barrel off companies, shall we say. Um, it's really good for what you get. As I say, they've thought of everything. I mean, they've looked at, obviously, the the budget market with this and they, I think they've cornered it there's nobody else going to offer you so much stuff as what comes with this one and I'll be honest about that it is a really really good choice to have performed really well in our test today and as I say I'd recommend one of these to anybody who's starting out it's a fantastic gun only book bear yet yeah, small tank probably 60 maybe 70 shots at a push but besides that great gun if you get a chance, go get one. I would. Great one. Thanks for watching today. Speak to you soon.